Now, one of the tests that the study that Morgan Thaler talks about, they took prostate cells from young men and they took prostate cells from older men and they kept, kept them in a low testosterone environment. And both older men's cells and younger men's cells progressed to abnormal in a low testosterone environment. Mm -hmm. Then they took cells from young men and older men, same, same patients, took, put them in a different Petri dish, and they surrounded them with testosterone. The cells that had changed and looked a little funny stopped dividing and died. And the testosterone bathing these cells was what was stopping them from becoming an advanced cancer. Mm -hmm. they, they concluded that everybody, just like in breast cells, every male has prostate cancer cells that start to develop, but your body gobbles them up and kills them. Okay? okay. But if you, if you can, if your cancer cells can elude the immune system, and testosterone stimulates your immune system, if you can elude the immune system, then if you are in a high testosterone environment, they don't progress. They right. just so, stay so there. So genetically, we all males are predisposed because they have because you have a prostate potential <laughs> cancer cells. Yes, just like breast cancer and cells. And if there's a low testosterone environment, then the immune system doesn't protect protect against the growth of the cancer cells the way that it would. Right. And so if you if you have low testosterone either because surgically you've been castrated or there's some other issue. Or you're getting old. Or, or yeah, that too. <laughs> that too. Uh, and you haven't been replaced. And you replace the testosterone, mm -hmm. you replace the shield. You replace the mm -hmm. protection that, that uh, inhibits or reduces the ability of those cancer cells to grow.